folks in Redding, California today. It's Brian Jameson. How long of a float are we doing, man? Like an hour, hour and a half. Okay. Two hours if we really want to fish, right? Five, six river miles. Cool. We can, there's some backwater that we can hit. We'll uh, see if we can put something in the boat. What species? Uh, mainly trout. You can find some smallmouth. Uh, up in some of the slower moving stuff, but right. we're uh, mainly a trout river around here. Cool. Rainbows, big old rainbows. Right on. Sacramento River. I can, I can drop it right here so I can All right, we're done with our quick float. We're gonna go check out the shop. You're opening up, right? Yeah, yeah, 10 o'clock for about a half an hour or so. Cool. I didn't catch any fish. Why didn't I catch any fish? <laughs> you can't put that on me. <laughs> no, I don't put it on you. I'm just asking for your opinion. It's How do you tough, catch fish in there? It's a tough fishery. Flies. Fly fishing. Flies. Is, See, uh, that's very, that's why I didn't. Very and you didn't bring right. one. I did not. Uh, I did not bring a fly rod. But even if I had, I wouldn't know like the way they do it with the bobber fishing. Don't get your lap. They're striking. It's an indicator, not a bobber. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's dangerous grounds for Jameson and I to keep going in these tackle shops, paddle shops, and finding things we want. I found a pair of thigh straps, which, uh, if you don't know, that's you put them on a on a boat that you're going to whitewater and really lean in on it. Like if you imagine it's attached here, and then like maybe back there, and your knee is here and this kind of goes over your knee and it just locks you into the seat better. I've done them before on, uh, I think the last one I did was a Tarpon 120, or I've done it with a Tarpon 120 Ultralight. Uh, I had thigh straps from Harmony, but haven't had them in a while. I think the old ones I had dry rotted, so saw these here, said, I gotta have them. <laughs> That's really <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I did that to someone at ICAST filming them one time and just kept and they just kept they never broke like because they thought just I was just, talking. yeah they thought I had to be that close I guess I mean I was literally touching them at the end with the mic like, and they just yeah. we're here in Redding California Jameson Redding in Redding we're gonna hang out with Dan Arbuncle here and Dan I've been friends with Dan for a long time he used to own Headwaters down in Lodi his parents had a shop here called headwaters as well but now he's a he's a rep and a youtuber it's a famous youtuber <laughs> tell us your channel or i think channels yeah headwaters kayak and then headwaters kayak express is my little like kind of kick around for fun one right on yeah so I this? Water. this is luna i'm luna she's my little street dog street dog yeah she comes she from oaxaca you. mexico she came from where? Oaxaca, Mexico. Yeah? Yeah, my business partner went down there last uh, winter to learn Spanish in the off season because in Lodi, half of our clientele was Spanish speaking. And uh, she sent me a picture of this dog with a big old slice across her head. She got attacked by a machete. And she's like, if I bring this dog home, will you give it a home? So this dog's well-traveled. It's been in a car for over 3,000 miles to get here. Right on. Yeah, she's awesome. So we've launched here on the, uh, just a little back, backwater area off the Sacramento River. It's supposed to be some bass in here. Tried for the uh, trout this morning. That didn't go so well. Uh, honestly, we didn't really give it that long, but thought I'd try for some of the largemouth. There also may be some smallmouth in here. We'll see. So it's 90 degrees. This water's 52. And if we turn that way, you can see a mountain snow on it.
cove area. Yay, finally caught a bass. Not a trout, but caught a fish. All right, you're gonna bury the nose of this thing in white water, right? Well, we're gonna catch some eddies. We're gonna All see right. if we can rip into an eddy and cool. See how it goes. What's what's uh, your early early thoughts? Your wh what's gonna? I mean, you're reviewing this setup, right? Yeah. This and are you gonna talk about that one on your? Yeah, I got to walk through that one. I, I don't know if I'll review it because I haven't been in it, but definitely spending some time in the Coosa Axe today. Cool. I'm super familiar with the rest of the Coosas, so it's kind of fun to get to play in the modern iteration with all this rigging that it was kind of set up and designed for. Right. It's nice to just step into a boat that's all done, ready to go. Yep. And uh, plenty of room for a co-pilot. Yep. so fun. <laughs> 